Hi, today I have an easy question for you. This is simple Mendelian genetics. And here is a question. List all the gametes that are possible with each of the following genotypes. And uh, I believe that most of you can solve this problem very easily. But those of you who don't know how to solve it, just follow my explanation. In order to explain you how uh, different combinations um, derive it, uh, I would use a human karyotype. As you see from this karyotype, uh, we are humans, uh, we are diploids, and we have two of each chromosome, and altogether we have 23 pairs, and 22 of them we call autosomes and two of them we call sex chromosome and we can get uh, X and X and X and Y and uh, here we have X and Y and that means that this is male karyotype. and just imagine for example that on the chromosome number 5 we have uh, two alleles and alleles is just different variants of the same gene and these alleles can be uh, for example one dominant and one recessive so we designate them with capital A and small a and we may also have on the chromosome number four um, different alleles that we designate with capital B and small b and in each pair of the chromosomes, uh, one of the, of the chromosomes are from the mother side and one from the father side. So we may say so about each pair of chromosomes here. So one uh, we de derive it from the mother side and another from the father side. So I would just use two pairs of chromosomes uh, for example and imagine so uh, we have uh, 46 chromosomes and only half of them would go into the uh, egg cell or sperm cell that is gamete and as long as this is uh, male karyotype this is going to be sperm and uh, for example, uh, chromosome number 5 uh, may separate randomly, so in this sperm only one uh, chromosome may get here from the uh, father side, so we may have here a small a, and for example for the chromosome number 4 we may get uh, also from the father side that is going to be um, small b so uh, but another sp uh, sperm cell for example here may get a different combination for example it can be capital a for the chromosome number five and it's also may get capital B for the chromosome number 4. So as you see uh, we're going to get two different uh, sperm cells and how many different uh, variants we may have uh, if we do not take into account uh, crossover during meiosis uh, we are going to get two uh, two chromosomes raised 23 because we have 23 pairs uh, so all together this is going to be about 8 million different variants so um, this is explanation why uh, no children that looks alike except of course siblings that uh, we are derived from the division of the 
one zygote. And such siblings are going to be um, genetically identical. But um, in all the other cases, we are going to have uh, each sperm cell or egg cell totally unique. So now, as you know the background and theory, we can proceed with a solution of our problem here. So, A may combine with uh, B here. Just imagine this uh, one chromosome and this is another chromosome. And here is one chromosome and another chromosome. And this is just alleles on those chromosomes. Here it can be different and uh, on the chromosome uh, number 2 or it can be any number uh, these two particular alleles are the same. So what combinations we may get here uh, so uh, capital A may combine with one chromosome or another and small a can combine with one chromosome or another. So what different combinations here? We may get capital A and small b and uh, if we combine with the other chromosome that is identical uh, we are going to get the same capital A capital B so I wouldn't write it down and uh, small a would combine with small b and that's only two variants possible here and for b we are going to get capital b uh, capital a and capital b and also small a small b or capital b so just two variants we see we are going to get capital a capital b capital A, small b, small a, capital B, and small a, small b. So four variants here. D, we are going to get capital A, capital B, and capital A, small b. Just two variants. E, we are going to get capital A and small b one variant and f just small a and small b one variant so that's all for today i hope you were able to solve all these problems correctly and now you know the theory and would be able to solve such problems in the future thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel i post new videos almost every day goodbye